and welcome to International Taste Station. I'm Patrick, Patrick O'Neill. And I'm... Welcome to International Taste Station. I'm Sir Molly Johnson. And I'm Patrick, Patrick O'Neill. And this week we'll be drinking an assortment of drinks that we found in Crewman Smith's Foot Locker. His family will never miss him. Them. Poor Smitty. Drink? Yes. Tastes like Jolly Ranchers. It does taste like watermelon. But to clarify, it, it, what I mean is it tastes like fake watermelon. Yes. Definitely doesn't taste like real mom, watermelon. With just a hint of rind. Duh. The, the first beverage that we dug out of, uh, what was his name? Smitty? Smitty? Smithy? Uh, I think Smitty. it was something with a J. Jones. Jonesy. Jonesy. I think that was a pop. Oh. Uh, Carter? Anyway, uh, the guy that died, we uh, the first beverage we took out of his foot locker was Watermelon Crush. Uh, it is a limited edition variant of Crush that came out uh, this year. It tastes and smells like Jolly Ranchers. It, it's good. It's, it's like hubba bubba. It's all the flavor you expect. It's loads of what I have to assume is fake watermelon flavor, but it's plentiful and it's there. I almost don't like the fake watermelon taste. I mean, I like it, but if you drink a lot of it, you get almost get a chemical taste that starts to happen in your mouth. But it was good. So that, I guess if you're curious, um, it's worth finishing. What's next? That has a smell that reminds me of something. I like it. It, um, you know what it reminds me of? Is those bottle cap candies. Like the candy that tastes like cola? Yeah. It tastes so cola that it tastes like a cartoon version of cola. Yes. Which is good. That's what that smell is. Oh, I do not like that. Oh, I do. I think. I'm gonna go first. Johnny Ryan, cola. That, that, I don't care who you are. Diabetic. No sense of taste. Uh, uh, yeah, the person who likes soccer. That that was a great beverage. I, I'll tell you exactly what it's like. It is like uh, cola candy, like the the chewy ones. I think they're bottle caps or something. It tastes like that, like a cartoon cola, but but without the kick. It's like a slightly muted cola which you don't think would be a good thing, but it is, because it doesn't burn you. It's a light, refreshing cola. Okay, first off, I'm pretty sure the bottle cap candies weren't gummies. They weren't chewy. No, definitely, definitely, they, they were. It, no, they weren't. Definitely, definitely. And bottle cap candy, the cola ones were gross. No, those were like the second best ones.
You people will be with me, and you'll thank me. No. I didn't like it. I think it was a quality uh, beverage, and if Smitty, that was his name, if Smitty had to die to bring this cola into our life, I think it was worth it. Poor Smitty. Well, okay, well, well I did, wait, what is it that you don't like about it? I don't like the flavor of it. Well, that, that's a minor criticism, but what else? I don't like the flavor of it. I, I don't get it too, just not like the bottle. I think the label's pretty cool. It's kind of got, it's got some class. It's got, uh, it, it looks like it won a ribbon. It almost has like a grapefruit and orange taste to it. Well, um, I have been looking forward to this one long before we plotted Smitty's ultimate demise. A a and, uh, condolences, uh, I, I, it's, it's completely lived up to my anticipation. Yeah, definitely. I, I think it's a good drink. How, how would you characterize the, the, the taste for the, for the folks at home? Uh, it definitely has a, a fruity, sort of citrus taste. It tastes like grapefruit mixed with orange, maybe a little blood orange. I, I would say it, it tastes like all your things that you would just call an orange if you found it in your stocking, but it doesn't have the, the stomach, the, it doesn't have the, 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 the acid to it. It doesn't yes. have that acidic yeah. thing. It's just, it's all the niceness mm -hmm. of citrus. Maybe not the buoyancy. I, I cannot comment on the buoyancy, but in terms of flavor, it has all the the nice funness. I like it. Let's let's talk about the bottle because uh, it, it is sort of a novelty soda. I think it's fair to say. Um, I, I think a very genuine, sincere flavor like that stands up. Yeah. It's it's not a joke drink, but the bottle they're having some fun. Obviously, they're getting into the old Soviet Russia USSR. Bottle's hilarious. Yes. Uh, join the party, will you? Yeah. I, I too will join the party. Are you ready to get hammered and sickled? I will get hammered and sickled on this at any time. Uh, is it a taste worth standing in line for? It sure is. Um, I mean, obviously, it's unfortunate that our good friend, um, I had it a minute ago. That guy, it's Smitty? a ter- I don't think we always know, I think it was something with a J. I think he had some dark secrets. Leninade? Well, I mean, he was clearly no good. And talk about his emails, wherever they went. He had to go. Anyway, um, I think out of out of the three that we've had today, definitely far and away my favorite. I, I think I would put that on my own Foot Locker. I think so. If I had a Foot Locker, of course I don't. We, we rank a little higher around here. I have a full closet. Um, I would absolutely have that again. Me too. That was good. Here's a question. It's 1984. No. 1974. And that label is not a joke. That label is sincere. That label is genuine. Would you still like it? Yeah, probably. Would you be willing to be ostracized and branded a communist? Sure, why not? Yeah, me too. Well, uh, so that that's a thing that you can do. So, uh, any other goodies in uh, Smitty's Locker? I wouldn't say there are goodies, but there's certainly things to talk about. Probably shouldn't do that on camera, though. Bye!
Hello, and welcome to International Taste Station. Aaron, kids, stop laughing.